Hello, everybody. I am Ursula von St. Ange, and like many of you, I come from Africa. To be more specific, South Africa at the southernmost point. I come from a little university town called Stellenbosch, where they make the most delicious wines. And this is my institute, the Council for Scientific and Industrial Research. And just in case you're wondering, this is a big model hall where big boys, the engineers, play with waves and model ships. And this is where you can get hold of me. Why am I here? We're trying to unify the fragmented data of Africa so that the scientists all over the world can have one place where they can get all their relevant data. So what can I do? Well, I'm the only database manager in our institute, and I'm kind of in charge of four major databases and various other smaller ones. The first one is SATCO, the Southern African Data Center for Oceanography. And it contains CTD, uh, mouse comes back, CDD type profiles, voluntary observing ships, uh, weather data, as well as currents, waves, and weather stations. This data is freely available, but it can be flagged for up to three years after submission. It's seen by IODE as the National Oceanographic Data Center for Oceanography uh, of, of Southern Africa, and it's the only one of its size. The second one is the Wind Atlas of South Africa. <coughs> And it measures data, weather data, of a network of 10 60-meter masts with multiple sensors at five levels. This data is also freely available and is used by scientists to model weather patterns <coughs> over South Africa. And it is also extensively used for the wind farm people, which is a new thing in South Africa. Environmental Data Management Database. <coughs> has waves, weather, and currents data that is measured by the CSR staff on behalf of our clients. And for obvious reasons, this is not open to the public. And last but not least is Afrobus, the Sub-Saharan African node of OBUS, the reason why I'm here. It contains the marine species around the African coast. And this is an example of some of the species that it contains. Some Afrobus highlights. In the <coughs> first two years of our existence, we submitted the most data of all the then only 14 OBUS nodes. This is a map of all the OBIS data and the shaded areas is where Afrobus contributed more than 50%. Even though we scouted very hard and looked very hard, unfortunately we have got very few um, data from other African countries. Because our continent has got a warm as well as a uh, this mouse doesn't work a warm as well as a cold current on the coast we have very high biodiversity more than the other nodes there are always challenges funding being the most important marine data uh, management or biodiversity management doesn't seem to be a very sexy activity. So not many companies want to fund it. And for those that do fund it, the funding is very soon eaten up by inflation. As I said before, 
we've got very little data from Africa. And uh, networking in Africa seems to be a, a problem. Maybe because of the language barrier with other countries speaking either French, Spanish or Portuguese instead of the more familiar English. Some people also flag their data and then they don't want to give it to us. <coughs> and then some governments unfortunately have got lots of red tape and it hampers the ch um, sharing of data. And when we do get data, some people procrastinate while others are busy with other projects. Uh, Odin Africa and uh, Afrobus do need to collaborate. Um, as you've heard before, Afromas and Worms is actually the same data on the AFI database. And Worms, the records in Worms have got a flag to indicate whether they're part of Afromas. And species lists that are submitted to Aframas are given to the worms taxonomic editors and uh, before they include it into to check before they include it into Aframas. Now I've come up with a bright idea I don't know how Lean will see it. If um, during taxon matching worms can give us an extra flag or an indication as to whether the record actually is in Aframas or not then maybe we can save some time and money. And uh, what also could maybe save some time and money if uh, your time is if you can submit your data sets to Afrobus um, and then with, with the position included and then I can give the species list to Afromas on your behalf. And then obviously I have to uh, give all the other Afrobus data sets, the species list from the other Afrobus data sets to Afromas as well. Now these two points are my contribution towards some collaboration attempts. Okay, so told you who I am, where to get me, told you what data is available, some successes, some challenges. And I've given some suggestions towards collaboration. And once again, this is where you can get hold of me. And that's it. Any suggestions towards collaboration will be more than welcome. Any questions? No questions. Yes. Uh, what's the Aframas has got species lists, so every species would only maybe occur once. Afrobus is a data set of, is an occurrence data set. So it, the same species would um, happy many times in the same database, each time with a different location and time. Errol. Okay. Thank you.